Bob, could you begin by giving me introducing yourself and giving me an overview, overview of your military career, please? My name is Robert Stewart. I was born on the 7th of July 1949, the son of an RAF officer. I joined the army when I was 18, nearly 18. I went to Sandhurst for two years. I became an infantry officer in the 1st Battalion, the Cheshire Regiment. And thereafter, I served on operational tours in Ireland and in Bosnia, where I commanded my battalion. And I ended my army service as Chief of Policy at Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe as a colonel in 1996. As the son of an RAF officer, can you tell me why you joined the army? Very easy to answer that question, because when I was 13, my father took me to an optician's and I discovered I was colorblind. And my father said to me, that means you will have difficulty flying in the RAF. I said, it does. I suggested that maybe the uh, Navy would be an alternative. He said, no, you've got to be able to tell st port from starboard. They're different lights, and it's red-green, and you're colorblind, red-green. So I suggested the Army, and he said, yes, the Army, they will have anyone. Right, so... So I joined the Army. <laughs> um, can you tell me what your officer training was like? It was hard. It was too hard for me, really. I often thought of quitting.